Let's do a wiring. The end bars have four holes in them. Some of the holes, you can buy these little clips to push in there that will hold the foundation from the edges. I don't recommend those. Uh, some experienced beekeepers use them. I don't, don't like them. I like wire better. And you don't need to wire all four holes. You only need to do two in the middle here. And this is frame wire. You can uh, get away with using wire. You can buy it at your big box stores. 28 gauge wire, 26 to 28 gauge wire will work. That's what this is about. And to start this, you take a short brad and we're gonna nail it in between the holes, about halfway between the holes right here. And I used a small cheap hammer to assemble my frames with. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a hammer. It'll work real fine doing it this way. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to start right here. I'm going to go all the way around and to the end. We're going to start in the top bar, a top hole, excuse me, in the sidebar here. I'm going to pull it through. Frame wire like this is very, really springy. And if you're going to do a lot, you might have to invest in a holder like this to hold it. We're gonna go all the way back. And the reason I'm doing it this way, go through the, the second hole here, is I'm trying to save a little money on, and not waste wire. This is the good wire you can buy it at beekeeping supply houses. All right, now we're back here to the nail. I'm gonna take this and wrap it around three or four times. And leave the tab up right there. We're done there. Now I'm going to take this other end of the wire right here that's still coming off the spool and pull it tight. Take it up here and wrap it around the nail another three or four times. I'm going to hold that. Tap the nail down. And don't drive that, don't get excessive on pounding that nail in because you'll break the wire if you do. It's a brittle, strong wire. Snip those off and we're done. Okay, now uh, there's several ways you can, there's a couple of ways you can put the foundation in. If you're doing the wedge top bar, you would lay your foundation in and I like to lay the foundation and push it over one and under one into the bottom bar that way. You can buy a starred roller and, and a board to lay these on that you can embed this wire into the wax. And it does help the bees use that space right there, but it's not necessary. They will build around this. Sometimes the queen will not lay in the cells where the wire is, and, uh, but you've got 3,400 cells to a side and it's not gonna be a problem if she doesn't lay in a few uh, cells like this. But this is the way this is done. You can buy heaters that embed this in the wax. I don't think they're necessary, but this is the way you wire a frame. And uh, you can actually, it doesn't, you don't have to interweave it. I like doing it that way. You can just lay it on top and uh, come back with a star wheel. But if you interweave it, it does make sure that it'll be supported on both sides once you're done. And this is a wired frame, works very well. Wire's cheap, you can get a half a mile of it for, for very little expenses. And like I said, the big box stores have this stuff. Uh, the way I do it is, is uh, I go to uh, like Home Depot or Lowe's, I go to their website and uh, I pick my local store and then I do a search for wire. And you can do this like on my swarm traps and on this too. And it will tell you when you do a search, the aisle and the bin number in your store where you can find this. That's the, the simplest, fastest way to do that. And that's the way I, I do that. And that's, that's what a frame looks like. And it's square, it's ready to go. The bees will appreciate your effort and uh, you'll be causing less stress and you'll get more done. They'll be able to concentrate on being bees instead of correcting our stupid errors. There we go.